What's going on guys? It's Sunday on Delmarva. It's about 80 degrees. There's a pretty nice breeze. I got my crimson red kettle with my rotisserie. We're going to do a high round roast on the rotisserie. We're going to do a spatchcock bird and we're going to do a garlic and herb twice baked mashed potato. Stick around and see what we got. I got my eye round all trimmed up. I'm going to go ahead and stick this skewer through it. Spikes in there. Now I normally when I skewer stuff with this rotisserie, I take the handle and all that kind of stuff off of there and put that on after I'm done seasoning it and everything. Because now I can just lay this right on here like this and rotate it to season it. Alright, now to get this ready for the grill, I'm going to hit it with some balsamic vinegar. Some extra virgin olive oil. I'm going to take this and rotate it around. Even spread that balsamic vinegar and oil around by hand way every inch is kind of covered all right now I'm going to get it with some coarse sea salt I don't need to go crazy because this is coarse some garlic powder. Garlic powder makes a great base to anything that you're going to put on the grill. I've got a dual bank set up with my rotisserie. That's just my favorite seasoning salt. This is a typical steak seasoning. This is another typical steak seasoning. I'm going to try to make sure that every inch of that outside is coated. That way it gets a real nice crust. And we'll see you outside. Tossed a couple of chunks of cherry onto the fire. I got a split fire there. Pushing in place. There's our eye round roast. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and spatchcock this bird. I uh, recommend you get a nice pair of chicken shears like these. Spatching a bird is a great way to cook a chicken fast, evenly. Get a crispier skin. I'm just going to go ahead and cut this right straight out of here. Flip this guy over. Lay him flat. Clean off this extra mess here. Now by doing that, I can lay them nice and flat like that. I'm going to cook nice and even. 
And we'll put that right over the deflector plate on our acorn and it'll be a beautiful thing. To season this bird, I'm just going to hit it with some garlic powder. I'm not even going to worry about the underside of it too much because that's basically just going to go down and all the juice is going to cook through. I'm going to hit it with three different kinds of basic barbecue rub and we'll just have like a sweet dry rub chicken. As you guys know, that'll color up nicely. That'll be beautiful. I got the diverter plate installed in the acorn. Uh, this acorn's fallen over a few times. All kinds of stuff, and it's a great grill. We paid 40 bucks for it used. And you can bake on it if you if you're looking for a entry level Kamado style smoker, the acorn's definitely the way to go. So here's our spatchcock bird. I'm gonna lay him right on there just as pretty as you please. You can hear that I got it a little hot. It's about 350-ish. I like to do chicken hot. There it is. Let's have a look at what this eye round looks like on this rotisserie here oh it's looking beautiful we're about I don't know 45 minutes into our cook on this eye round and then about another 15 20 minutes I'm gonna go ahead and check it for temperature probably cook it to about 140 it looks beautiful though to start our baked mashed potato dish we got our potatoes diced up. It's just white potatoes, about two, two and a half pounds of white potatoes, some salt and pepper in there. Diced them up just like you would mashed potatoes. We got a little bacon frying here. We're gonna fry this bacon up nice. We got some fresh herbs and some chives and some sour cream and such. And we'll show you what we got when we're ready to put it together and get it ready to go on the grill. All right, so to do the mashed potatoes, I got my boiled potatoes, as you can see there. I'm going to do about three, well actually that's only a little over two tablespoons of butter there. This is a third of a stick of cream cheese. I'm going to do a big scoop of garlic. Yeah, a little more than that. Um, two big scoops of sour cream. A dash, just a dash of milk. Some of that bacon we fried up and chopped. A handful of mixed cheddar cheese. I'm going to go ahead and mix that up and turn it into mashed potatoes and see what we got. <laughs> So I got my mashed potatoes. I'm going to empty them into my Pyrex baking dish. All right, I got my mashed potatoes in the Pyrex dish. I sprayed the dish ahead of time with some cooking spray. And you saw how we put the bacon in the. I'm going to go ahead and taste that. Mm, it's good. But anyway, you saw how put the bacon in the cream cheese and sour cream. Go ahead and sprinkle some cheese out on here. This is just pre-shredded mixed cheddar. Some bacon. I think our spatchcock chicken's just about done so we're gonna go pull it off put this on go ahead and finish up putting the last little bit of cheese I got here 
Then I got some chives. I guess they're freeze dried. Sprinkle them out across the top. And we're gonna go bake that on the acorn. I think this spatchcock chicken's done. Let me go ahead and check them in a few spots there. Oh yeah. Yep. About 172 or 3 degrees. Put him right on there. Like that. I'm go ahead and stick this mashed potatoes right on top there. Let's have a look at what our eye round looks like. I'm sure it's getting close to. <coughs> I'd say it's ready to come off. All right, guys. See, we got our mashed potato pie there. It's getting close. Cheese is looking good. I'm going to go ahead and stick this top rack in. I just got some dinner rolls in the foil. We'll let them cook. We'll get this mashed potato pie ready. It'll be dinner time. And slice this thing up and see what it looks like. Well, guys, it's been another beautiful Sunday on Del Marva. I can't wait to give this chicken and these potatoes a try. Mm. Chicken's nice and juicy and moist. Mmm. The smoky flavor in those mashed potatoes are awesome. Well, guys, from my Del Marvelous Land to you, make yourself a Sunday feast. Why not? Good night, folks.